Many of you are probably familiar with Etsy. It is one of the number one marketplaces to sell digital products. It's where I first sold digital products and it's where I really learned a lot about them. But what if I told you that there was a better, more scalable way to sell your digital products in 2024? Piqued your interest? I think so. Let's find out more. It's a fantastic platform, no doubt. You can put your products out there and if you're lucky, customers will find you. But here's the kicker. Relying solely on Etsy means that you are at the mercy of their algorithm and their search engine or SEO. And not to mention the massive competition. You're essentially selling your product to the masses and standing out can be super tough. But I have a method that I wanna share with you that may take a lot more patience and upfront effort, but in the long run, it's going to be a lot more scalable and help you build your business. And that is building your own community. Why use Etsy's borrowed audience when you could build an audience and a community yourself around a specific problem that you're solving? And using platforms like YouTube or Instagram Instagram can help you connect to that community. By building your own community, you're creating a dedicated audience who's genuinely interested in what you have to offer. Between YouTube and Instagram, that's billions of people who are using those platforms and all you need is a small nugget of those billions of people. Now, it's not just that easy, right? It's easier said than done. But the secret sauce is targeting a specific community. Before moving forward, I did wanna let you know I have a free resource. It's called the 90 Day Corporate Escape Plan. Pretty much it's walking you through leaving your corporate job to work for yourself, so make sure to check that out in the description. You need to find a niche that you are passionate about and where there's a real need for digital products. You're not just selling products, you're providing solutions. Your digital product needs to directly address the pain points that your community faces. So then once you've built that community and everything is in place, you can offer your digital product as a solution to a problem that you know they have because you built that community around that problem. Does that make sense? I'm, I'm hoping I'm making sense. There's nothing wrong with Etsy. It actually is a really great starting point. Again, I think I already mentioned, I started there as well. It's a great way to start learning the digital product business and understanding SEO and search engines and algorithms. But as I've mentioned in previous videos, though it is super helpful getting started, it's just not as scalable as building your own community because you're not at the mercy of somebody else's algorithm. So my recommendation on getting started is first, figuring out what digital product that you want to sell, what problem you're wanting to solve, and go ahead and create it. I know that's a little backwards to some people, like why create something if I have no one to sell it to? But instead of starting to build a community on social media and having nothing to offer them, what if you blow up? What if a video goes viral and then you have nothing to offer them? You're missing out an opportunity to help solve that person's problem. So go ahead and create your digital product. Go ahead and create your lead magnet or your freebie, which of course should connect to your digital product. So once you get all of that foundational work done, then you can start building your social media. And to do that, I suggest creating content that reminds this ideal audience of the problem that they have and also provide some free value and some education and this relatable content that is inspiring them or reminding them of their problem will lead them to the solution to their problem. So I will be doing some more detailed videos about YouTube and about Instagram and how to set those up to help sell digital products, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, check out this video here. I think you'll like it. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye, besties.